can. Mm. Acts of service. Let's go. Right. Um, um, but, should, yeah. Wait, should we talk about how um, lots of people are saying because I'm 39, I'm too picky and I oh. shouldn't and I shouldn't have uh, so many. I shouldn't be asking for so much. I'm asking for too much because I'm 39. Yeah, just out of curiosity. So, yeah. do you want kids? I'm open either way. You're open either way. Yeah, I'm way. open to having a child. Um, and if I don't have a child, then okay. I'm okay with that. Do you date people who do have kids? And I don't date people with children, no. Okay. Have you before? I tried once because a friend of mine rec was like, why don't you try dating men with kids? And I tried it and it wasn't for me. Mm. The question Wait. comes back to that, like, if you do want to have kids... Mm. then obviously well, 39 you're getting on so it's going to be much much harder yeah. for you to have kids from now on mm -hmm. so then i think that that's what people would be alluding to in terms okay. of lowering the bar a little bit with your standards um yeah so for me so yeah i only have probably a few years if i want to have a child if i meet someone and we get on quickly and it's the right person and i, I get man. pregnant and we have a child that's beautiful if I don't meet the man who is for me until my 50s and that time has passed for me, um, I can show my maternity and my femininity and that love in other ways. Um, and it will probably be something that I do mourn to some extent, yeah. but that's okay. Um, I just would want to find the right person for me. And how, how much are you willing to wiggle in terms of this arrangement? Because if you did want to have kids, like, like we just said, the mm -hmm. clock's ticking quite mm -hmm. a bit. Are you, uh, do you have wiggle room there or is it, are you pretty set in, in your ways? Wiggle room in, it depends so, so on give, what let's, we're let's, wiggling let's on. Just, let's, let's just take the first <laughs> date, for example. Okay. I think that you're, you expect too much in mm -hmm. terms of the first date. Okay. I can understand that you'd Asking want... Asking or... Having him I'll pay explain for, it. Okay. So, like, I, I can understand why you'd want someone to be financially sort of stable. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, that first date thing, that's a generosity thing. Um, and, you know, that's, a, that's an attractive thing. But in terms of pay, paying for the first dates, maybe the guy is just seeing if you're willing to go halves. Like maybe he's willing to. Maybe he's just. Maybe. Maybe I've he's just doing that to just see if you have if you if you understand reciprocity. Maybe, and I've gone halves, and I've reached for my wallet, and I've reached for my wallet with the intention to offer. I've also not done the reached. old fumble. It doesn't, yeah, I've. Proper reach. But I've I've I'll if I'm going like I'll actually yeah. you know I will. So I've done all the different. There, I, ways, I just think, I, I I'm not sure if I really necessarily believe you when you say that you that's an automatic no go because it has to be something else that happened in the date because if he if it was a really good date and yeah. if he was a good prospect mm -hmm. and if you do want to have kids in the future mm -hmm. surely you wouldn't just not go on a second date because he it's for an interesting reason. question because i think the men that i'm going on dates with they they don't want me to pay for half so it's a, it's i i'm trying to imagine a scenario with the a man i'm going on a date with who wants to go halves but I, i'm not like a, what about like i just said reciprocity okay. He wants to just he wants you to, to be showing that you're mm -hmm. willing to reciprocate from the jump. Okay, so if I'm on a date and he wants me to go halves, I'll go halves. Mm. I've said that. But then you but won't go on a second date. Probably not. Probably not. But what if it was a what if it was a good date otherwise? And what if you were actually very surprised because he was generous in other regards and he strikes you as a generous person? Yeah, then I would. I would. Hmm. It's not an end-all, be-all. It's just it's a it's a difficult question because the men that I go on dates with are not asking me to go have. It's just like not in their nature, really, maybe to ask me to go have these. Hmm. So I'm not in that scenario. Yeah, um, I see what you mean. I, I don't. So so there. I mean, getting back to the whole wiggle room thing, there is okay. wiggle room. You do have wiggle room in in in, in terms of the dates because it is. But it, it is depends on what we're wiggling on. Like, like I just like said. What? Like he does, like His he penis? goes, like he what? goes, ha like he goes halvesies on a first oh. date. Yeah, just little things Different like that. Because, oh, like, if, if if you do want to have no, children, then that should be something that you're pursuing mm -hmm. with some vigor, yeah. rather than just saying, "Oh, well, not him, not him, not him, not him." Mm -hmm. You know. So, yeah. if you're pursuing it, then you'd want to maybe get to know somebody on a deeper level before you reject them for not wanting to sure. pay for the date every time. Sure, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Jake from Rattlesnake TV, are you yeah. saying that she has too high standards? Yes, I am actually. Oh my <laughs> god. Well, you know I, what, I, I actually appreciate the standards though. I like I like the fact that you like just, know what you okay, want, but in terms of I, your own if if I were you 
like and you know you were sort of heading towards your 40s Date a homeless it's, it's person. a it's a just kidding i'm kidding it's 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 not I, I don't my personal opinion is that it's not a very nice existence to be north of 50 and not have a family mm. so that's fair yeah i was also thinking about never being married ever so we might have like slightly different you know i think that's also that. pretty, so yeah. um yeah their own meatball donated $100. Thank you, man. Why not consider just doing it yourself? Or at least freeze your eggs to keep your options open. Freeze the eggs? Option? Are they suggesting I... yourself as in having a, a child Yeah, they're by saying yourself? have a child on your own, like freeze oh your eggs. My. We know what happens to children who are raised without a believe, father. I don't what? I don't prison. I wouldn't do IVF. Wait. Prison, poverty. Prison. Wait, children who are raised by only their father? No. no. Children who are raised in the home. Oh, children father. who are raised in single mother homes are twenty times more likely to end up in prison. Yeah. Far more likely to end up in poverty, drop out Other of high bad school. Things. Yeah. What about single fathers? Other single fathers is much less, much less. Okay. Single dads. Well, I mean, because obviously single dads have more of the tough love and then single yeah. mothers are more nurturing so especially if you're a young boy you're going to walk all over your mother yeah and we're, and we're also looking at the like the majority of people that are going to prison are also men so okay. boys that grow up without a strong and good male figure in their lives that's that's the result of it yeah and also i was raised in a single mother like home I was raised in a single parent home and I feel like it's not the greatest environment to grow up in because you have so much of a burden put on you because I was the oldest so I kind of was the second parent and I just I don't think it's fair like I don't think everyone has the right to be a parent and like uh, yeah I don't think freezing eggs is a ethical way to do things yeah would you guys date a single father I would <laughs> That's right. I love that for you. Brad Pitt. Would you pay for the first date? Huh? Would you pay for the first date? Well, African children. <laughs> African children. Okay. So yeah, I, know, I, I did date a single father, and it was not in the plans. I never saw myself doing so. It was just we were good friends, and it, it progressed into more. Um, he was a great guy, but we didn't align on a lot of values, and the kids thing was a problem for did, me. Did you meet the kids? I did, yeah. I you actually, I met scold? the I no, bet you're a great I, scolder. <laughs> I met the kids Wonderful before scolder. we started dating because, like okay. I said, we were friends. So I had met them prior to us okay. starting to date. Um, but yeah, I did realize that in terms of especially how he was a great parent, but we had differences in how I would personally handle things if they were my kids or if we had kids together. There would be a lot of issues there. Word. Uh, would you date a single mom? No. I don't. I don't think I would date a single mom. Nope. I wouldn't. 